Hi guys, we're back, and we're going to do something uh, a little different. Uh, not a long one, not too detailed. Um, I'm going to show you how to pre-shade candy paint. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put shadowing on candy paint. So for the two colors we're going to do, I just showed you, blue and red. Um, so to me, we're going to go, we'll just keep it simple. Tamiya, Tamiya however you call it, uh, red and blue. It'll be like this, both over Mr. Color Silver. So I've already painted the spoon silver, and I got a couple of old Gumpla pieces. We're going to use that too. And um, that's the silver, number eight. Oops. Mr. Color Standard Silver Lacquer. I've already done that. Um, this is the black we're going to use for the shading. Your standard number two, uh, Mr. Color Black. So Mr. Color for the bases and... Uh, to me it clears uh, for the candy and that's it I'll meet you over at uh, the booth we're gonna try my new airbrush which I haven't tried yet um, I gotta use it a little bit before we go in with a full review um, but that's it the new harder and sting back and uh, we'll see how she performs all right head over to the booth and we'll start the process all right guys here we are at the booth the new airbrush feels good already what we're going to do is, with the black, we're going to just outline edges as if we, as if we wanted it to be a shadow on the piece, you know. So uh, I'm going to be an extreme as far as this goes, so you can see it more on the camera. But what we're going to do is, not with a lot of air, not with a lot of pressure. See what I'm doing? I'm just outlining the edge. Now we can come in a bit more because it's a big wide spoon. And I, I want to exaggerate so you guys can see it at home a little better. This is literally the first time I put paint and shot through this airbrush and uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's a huge, huge upgrade and I, and I use a good airbrush. You can feel the difference on this. Wow. I added this valve to adjust the air while I'm holding it. It's just something I've gotten used to on my other airbrush. This is a $40 adapter, this dumb little piece right there. I'll show you when I finally review it. Anyway, there's a spoon. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to go through. I started this piece to test the airbrush, but you just want to go. It doesn't even have to be perfect. just want to get into little spaces. You probably want to turn the air down quite a bit because we're going to be getting in close, you know. And on this one, I'm going to be exaggerated also, hit all the edges. This is just some chess piece from one of my random test kits. Let's see if you can see the edges. You know, I could be more precise if I don't have the camera. I'm shooting with this camera in front of me. But um, that's good. That this, this should get you the, the idea of what I'm talking about. I'll try and get the bottom too if I can show you. It's pretty subtle, but you'll see it when we put the clear. See that? We put that up. We'll do one more piece and then we'll get on to the candy coats. See this? We just want to outline the edge. So we're going to go over on the edge. Let me see if I can get it so you guys can see it. And the closer you get, you can get more precise too. What you gotta do is you wanna turn down the air, way down. See the line I just achieved with that? Yeah. I'm trying to get it so you guys can really see it. So I mean, I've gone over the top on one side and this side I'll, I'll show you how it should look if you're actually building the kit. See this crevice here? Let's get into that. My arm's hitting the armrest because I got to do it where the camera is. And it's tough. Now we'll take it around the edges.
That's it. All right. I hit the rest. I hit the other spoon, and then uh, we'll on to the candy color. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. All right, guys. First color in uh, X27 Tamiya Clear Red. Start with the easy old spoon. Sure, she's clear, clean. Let's go. And flash dry it. Turn the air down a little bit. And I did the spoon to show an over the top version of what I'm trying to show you, you know. That went well. Airbrush is fantastic. I can vouch for that. All right. Now we'll go to a piece. I'm going to turn up a little bit. Try to get so you guys can see it. And I usually uh, do pre-shading for master grades, which is a much bigger and easier way to go, particularly for your first one. I got to get good at the brush so I can get in and slow and figure out the air pressure for these nooks and crannies that I'm trying to fill in, you know? I just flash dried a little bit. Kind of like a lobster shell. Now, we won't have it all jagged and messy as I got it, you know. All right, that's it. That was the red. We'll head off to the blue. All right, guys, up next is the X23. To me, a clear blue. Start with the spoon. Dust off at first. So far, so good. Flash dry it.
Nice color. Real nice color. All right, we're going with this body piece. Let's try it. Alright guys, that's it. I gotta let everything dry and um, we'll see you back at the bench and we'll check the results. Alright guys, uh, time to come bring this to a conclusion and uh, results are great. Uh, we used Mr. Color Black number two, Mr. Color Silver number eight, Tamiya Clear Red, and Tamiya Clear Blue. Or Tamiya, how you guys ever pronounce it. Either way is fine with me. And here is the blue. Now this is a tiny piece. I mean, it's just, it's tiny. I, I wish I had bigger pieces to show you guys. But um, you, uh, what I did was I just highlighted the edges. You know, this is an old piece. I practiced uh, a new scribing on it. That's what this mark is in the middle. I just wanted to show you how the edges look. And this is... Uh, this is the final result, you know, on the spoon. This is I did this so you could really see it on the camera, you know, because these are it's a much more subtler look on these smaller pieces, and it looks better on a master grade because the it, the shadow is very pronounced, you know. But this is the same paint and the same blue, and this is the red. We just shadow the edge straight over. Matter of fact, it was only 10 minutes or so between coats because it was all uh, lacquers that we used. This is an acrylic lacquer, and uh, these are actual lacquers. It'll work with any uh, any clear. And this is uh, not the piece I originally sprayed. I went to grab it, and it fell behind the spray booth, and it got covered in dust, and it got ruined. So I just grabbed some other piece that I had a spare of, and this looks like some kind of upper leg. Uh, I tried to put the misting black here but it just doesn't look right so I ended up just panel lining it for you here but this is the edge that you really want to capture the edging like that see it? I don't have any pieces left to test like these body pieces so uh, I'm gonna have to get another couple of kits maybe a couple old master grades so we can do more tests for you guys and use actual pieces instead of the spoons the spoons came out great here because it's easy for you guys to see the, the result you know, more overstated, over-the-top results. But it's a great look. Instead of just going candy on the on the, the Gundams, you go uh, with this uh, slight shading. You know, just hit the edges. You don't have to go all over the place. Just the edges are fine. You know, it has a great look to it. But see, the profile is, is great there. You know, and this, I just did the edge. And it's just, it, it's a it's a great result. Uh, very eye-catching. Uh, here's the begin. Here's how we started. Those are the two colors, and that's it. In the end, it brings it out more too. It seems to make it even a little darker looking. But uh, that's it. It was a quick, simple uh, tip video. I wanted to show you guys how to uh, get this nice uh, appreciating with, uh, with the candy colors. Um, I got a bunch of new stuff in. Got some new chromes. We're gonna test. Uh, got some more stuff. Uh, more for Mister. Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Paint, MRP. This stuff's from Slovakia. This stuff is great. It goes on really good. Got this new silver metallic uh, primer. Look at that. It's a silver primer. So I'm gonna, this might be good for uh, frames. I got a brand new piano liner. I'm going to be doing testing uh, one, two, three, four. Four brands of piano lining liquid. So I wanted to get another one for the test. This is blue black. And this is from MIG. So uh, that's coming up soon too. And um, that's all. I got a few new kits. We'll go over those soon. And um, that's it. Uh, let me know if you guys have any luck doing this. It's pretty simple. It's pretty basic. It doesn't take long. Because oh, uh, the drying times are really fast on these. And that's without a clear. Look how shiny this stuff comes out. You know, the Tamiya clears have always been good to me. So I have every clear from every brand here. And they all work great. But the Tamiya ones are really simple. Use the uh, uh, Mr. Leveling. Mr. Thinner, that's what I use. I use a uh, lacquer thinner with these, and uh, go 50/50 on your mix, and this is the result, nice and shiny. And, uh, all right, guys, that's it for now. We'll see you in the next video. I should have one up in a couple of days. We're gonna be testing something. I think I got a couple of new chromes coming in, and uh, we're gonna go and give those a spin. All right, we'll see you soon. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, and uh, please subscribe because I have a ton more videos coming up.